Okay, so we'll quickly go over the global settings. Um, to choose the global settings, you choose options here and you'll get a little window like this open up. Um, the first section is submission. Um, this shows how many threads to use. Um, if you're using your computer at home and you know you want it to run in the background, you might want to choose 10 or 20 depending on your yeah, processing speed of your computer, how much RAM you got and all that um, and see what works that doesn't um, interfere with everything else. You know if you've got a new fairly fast computer you might be fine with 20 if you know you find it slowing down your other work then just drop it to 10. The HTML timeout is you know when GSA finds a web page and tries to submit a form and stuff um, there is a time in which you know it'll time out on that page if it can't do the tasks it need or if the page doesn't load or for whatever reasons. Um, the lower the number here the lower this can be. Um, if I'm doing 20 or less threads I choose about 100. Um, if I'm doing more than 20 say 30, 40 and up I would choose 140. I never make it more than 140 I think that's plenty of time. Um, if you're using GSA exclusively, if you have a VPS or you're using it on your computer and actually, you know, using a computer dedicated for it, you can actually tune this up to 100 even more um, and just let it rip. Okay, um, proxies, I haven't used proxies yet. Um, I use a more manual process with a VPN which is less productive and more annoying so you know using proxies is the way to go. I can't help you further with this because I never actually used it. Captures. Now um, caps, you're definitely going to need a capture program of some type. Um, either Capture Sniper or Capture Breaker, which is the new software by GSA. Um, either one of those are going to work fine um, and are actually essential to get um, enough links to make your Squidoo go up to the front page in Google or even the top slot. So I use Capture Sniper, um, that gets me plenty of links and works just fine. It's um, cheaper than Capture Breaker, but I believe Capture Breaker is um, is a slightly better software and is getting updated more regularly. Um, so you know it's going to exceed Capture Sniper, but it is more expensive. But either way, it's going to be fine for Squidoo or for backlinking any Web 2Os. I have it set so it retries three times. You know, some people do four, five, six, but that slows things down. I find three is optimum for me. And I don't use a secondary um, program like Death by Capture charges you for each capture it solves. It gets really expensive. You can use them up in no time if you're doing this a lot. So I don't bother with that. Ask Me Bot is a new service. It's pretty neat. I don't have an account with them. You could do, but it's not essential for um, backlink in Squidoo. It's not essential at all, actually, but it will get you more submissions, particularly with um, forum links. You know, it kind of answers questions like when you try to sign up and you get a little message saying, you know, answer this question to prove you're not a bot. And it'll ask a question like, "Is the what is the color of the sky?" And you need to type in blue. This um, program automatically answers those types of questions. Um, I prefer to not have this one checked. Um, if you do check this every time, um, Capture Sniper can't actually answer a capture, or, or the system doesn't recognize it. It'll send it to you, so you'll keep getting these pop-ups on the page for you to answer the captures, which is really annoying. Um, unless you want to fill them out all day, I would recommend not uh, checking that box. So indexing, um, yeah, I just leave this on. You know, it pings blogs every time you get a, a blog link to help with your you know, indexing of your links, um, 
on blog sites it helps a little but it's not you know the best thing in the world it's just a ping so but you know it's there it's free part of the system so it's good to use um, I leave this empty because I do all I use GSA SEO indexer but I do it separately Um, filter this will automatically be selected you'll definitely want to leave this selected it shows a list of domains that have um, viruses or malware on them and make sure that you don't submit to those sites uh, maximum size of a website to download Okay, well, when it scrapes the site, finds it, and downloads it to fill out the information, it's going to download. I think by standard, this is about 15 megabytes, but you know, that takes a little while, especially when you got all your submissions going pretty quickly. So I actually take it down to three. I don't want it, things get slower the higher this is, so this speeds up your rate of actually getting links moving on to advanced okay definitely keep these three checked uh, this one is an essential but these this will save all the links that are successfully submitted are successfully verified and sites that have been identified that you can submit links to these can be used later on to automatically post to without you having to go and scrape your own list so definitely keep these checked it'll save you a lot of time in the future um, let's see what else yeah this you know only if you're a coder or you're a little more advanced would you be interested in using this um, uh, I got this checked but I never use it you know it's just extra stuff that's beyond my what I need um, so yeah um, let's think Oh yeah, we're in the advanced section. If you go to tools, um, something you'll want to do every now and again is remove duplicate URLs. This means when it's scraped, you know, the same site twice, three, four times, um, it could be slowing down your system. I got a whole bunch of duplicate here. So every couple of days, I tend to uh, just remove those duplicates. Um, that covers it for the advanced section. So not the advanced, the, um, the global settings. Uh, next I'll quickly talk about how I use um, GSA SEO indexer. And also I'll do another video showing some of the number one rankings that I have using GSA.